<sighs> Was this worth it? If you were a Spider-Man fan in the early 2000s, you've probably seen this figure around somewhere. Mostly via the older toy reviewers that were around at the time and still are like Stardust Prime or Review Spot. Every day after school, I would go home and boot up old shitty 2008 YouTube and watch these videos endlessly. Even though I've seen them like a hundred times just the day before, I still found it really interesting seeing these guys talk about it. I was determined to get one for myself and then... I found out that Toy Biz shut down and that they cancelled all production of their figures. I did end up getting the Scorpion Venom, which was a good replacement, but Young Me was not satisfied. I knew I had to get that Venom figure, but then... I became an edgy teen who thought he was too mature for such childish accolades. Yeah, I did talk like that back then. But finally, I've become an adult and have now earned my own money, so how do I feel about this figure? Was it worth all the hype I've been giving it all these years? Uh, fuck! Let's talk about the good parts. This thing looks fucking phenomenal. This is my ideal Venom design. He's so fucking jacked. Toy Biz did not skimp on the sculpt of this figure. I mean, god damn, this thing is so big. Even the back is great. His calves look like there's two basketballs shoved in there. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. The long tongue and the big eyes also help this figure look a lot, as well as this disgusting mouth. I mean, fucking hell. I even think the paint is great despite how minimalistic it is, but I think it's just enough paint for it to look really nice. I also really like this washed out effect he has on the symbol. It makes him look like he's seen things, like he's been in a couple of fights and that he knows how to deal with people who try to fuck with him. Overall, I like the paint. Good job, Toy Biz. But one thing I have to mention about the figure that I really don't like and I gotta dock points for is this weird fucking tumor growing from his back. This thing is here just to accommodate his stupid fucking gimmick. What is this gimmick you may ask? Well, you see, once you push this button, he does this. Yay. All right, enough about it. Let's talk about his accessory. I don't have it. One thing I want to mention, it might just be my figure in particular, but mine has really crappy tolerances. Even the slightest tap from this plushie here on his arm can make it move. So be wary of that if you plan on buying this fuck. I don't have a good segue to this, so let's just talk about his posability. Thanks to his quite frankly unnecessary and very stupid gimmick, his head can't move at all. It's just permanently stationary, like a fucking brick. His arms can rotate all around, but you'll meet a little bit of resistance thanks to his big ass bicep. And while some of his joints, as I mentioned before, are really loose, this one is too fucking tight. It feels like you're gonna break it. But thankfully his hands are alright. They can squibble and they can move up and down as well, like a standard Marvel Legends. But one thing that is really cool is that he does have individual articulated fingers. Unfortunately, they only have one joint, so he can't really flip you off. Trust me, I tried. He does have a diaphragm joint, but it really can't move all that much. It's more like a chest swivel on top of his already existing waist swivel. His legs can move out that far and they can move back okay. They can spread pretty well though. And he has his tight ass knee bend. He can only move about 90 degrees, which is unfortunate. His feet can move up and down and are really loose. He's got an ankle pivot and he's got a toe bend, which I personally appreciate. This guy in theory has really good posability, but thanks to his really broad shoulders and really loose ankle joints, it's really hard to get him into any kind of pose aside from just standing there menacingly. Which is kind of a shame, Venom is such an agile and eccentric character in spite of his size. He can get into some really cool poses, but this figure just doesn't allow for it, which is really unfortunate. Alright, time for size comparison. Here he is next to my only other Toy Biz figure, the Toy Biz Gargoyle Spider-Man, the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man, and the Amazing Fantasy Number 15 Spider-Man, and Union. <laughs> Overall, I do like this figure, but I don't love it. And I'm sad about it. This is a figure I've been wanting ever since I was like 8 and for it to just be okay is kind of disappointing. You let me down. But if you had this figure as a kid or just wanted because he does look really cool, I'd say pick him up if you can get him at a good price on eBay. Alright, that's it. Goodbye everybody.